Today using Apple Motion, we are going to recreate the stop motion effect that you see in pretty much every single Vox video. We're also going to create it as an effect preset so you can drop it on anything you want within Final Cut Pro. First things first, go ahead and open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command, Option, and N. We are going to select the Final Cut effect. Now a couple quick notes. If you are not planning on actually pushing this over into Final Cut Pro, you actually can select the motion project and change the frame rate over to 10 frames per second. That's going to create a project where everything is set to 10 frames per second and that's honestly probably the easiest way. However, if you want to be able to apply this over into Final Cut Pro, then you're going to select the Final Cut effect. Now here's another really important thing pointed out to me by Nige reviews in the comments. Usually it doesn't make a big difference what frame rate and resolution you choose when you're creating a Final Cut effect. This is because Final Cut Pro does a really great job of auto conforming the timing on any animations or effects that you create within motion. However, for this particular effect, it's really important that you get the proper resolution and the proper frame rate. So with that being said, I'm going to select 4K for this particular project. Because my tutorials are all at 60 frames per second, I'm going to do 59.94, but typically I would actually do 23.98. So with that being said, we can leave our duration at whatever we like and push open. Now it's going to be very, very difficult to pull off this effect. What you're going to need to do is go up to your filters, go down to time and select strobe. And that's pretty much it. You're, uh, you're, you're basically done. The next step is to jump over into the inspector, go to your strobe rate, click on this down arrow and publish it. And that means that Final Cut Pro is now going to have this effect when we save this effect. And that means we can adjust the frame rate accordingly. So I'm going to just leave this at 15 frames per second. I'm going to push command S, which is going to allow us to publish this. And I'm just going to call it the strobe effect. Then I can throw it in whatever category I like the Final Cut Pro and I will push publish. Now that it's published, we can jump on over into Final Cut Pro. Now I've created this really basic scene of this circle that is hovering using my Pro Shapes plugin. There is a link in the description if you're interested in picking that up. So it's just hovering like this. All we need to do is look up our strobe effect in Final Cut Pro under the effects panel, drag it onto our circle. Now you're going to want to make sure that this effect is at the very bottom of your stack. So it is underneath the hover effect. So as it is now, this should be playing back at 15 frames per second. If we want, we can lower this down to eight frames per second and get a very convincing look. So that's the basics of creating this really nice strobe effect that you see happening all the time in Vox's videos. You can apply it to live action videos, to animations, whatever you need. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you might also really enjoy this tutorial where I show how to create three other Vox animations. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.